Hi, welcome to the show. I am Suzanne Lynn, and I'm here with Carly Tinkler. Uh, Carly is a freelance consultant. She specializes in environmental and landscape planning. Um, I'm so jealous because her work takes her around the world. Uh, probably not so much now with COVID, but um, I'm sure that this has really contributed to your robust ability to be a great author. Uh, Carly lives in what she calls not so middle England. And uh, we're glad that you're here, Carly. Thank you for joining us today. We're here to talk about Black Dog Sunday. Thank you for having me, Suzanne. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell us what Black Dog Sunday is about briefly. Black Dog Sunday is the story of a 17-year-old girl who runs away from home and meets a black dog who saves her life. In reality, it's about a lot of different things, some perhaps uncomfortable things, but mm -hmm. overall, I'm hoping that it's a positive and hopeful read. Generally speaking, when you talk about those uncomfortable issues, what are we talking about? What type of issues? We're talking about forced marriage mm. and honor-based abuse, which happens in a lot of different cultures, certainly in the UK, and from my research around the world too. What does honor-based abuse mean? The concept of honor is very different in different cultures. It's, um, the, the, I suppose, what the Bible would call an eye for an eye, oh. where if somebody dishonors you, then you must revenge your honor. And in certainly in Western Europe, the concept of honor changed in the Middle Ages when you had knights and you had chivalry, and honor became something more of English gentlemen playing cricket. Um, but the eye for an eye concept is still prevalent in a lot of cultures. And that means if somebody does something wrong or disrespectful that dishonors the family or the community or the religion or the culture, then you need to either kill them or lock them up or, or certainly punish them in the way that they feel they, is deserved. So th this is true. This is still happening. This is nonfiction. <sighs> the story that I have written is based on many different girls and boys that I have met and talked to uh, who asked me to write their stories for them. Wow. And I said, I didn't feel capable of writing their stories, partly because I, I set out to write a love story. It was meant to be a romance. And um, it happened to be a romance between a white woman and a Muslim guy uh, who came from Kashmir, which was likely based on real events. Um, but when I began to understand more about the culture and the history, and I became interested and wanted to know more, I started to meet people who were effectively being forced to marry people that they really didn't want to and that didn't appear to be very suitable. But I was hearing it more from the family's point of view and how important it was to the family to have somebody to take over and help and marry the right family and this and that. But to many of the girls and boys who were just entering a Western world, going to school and having more freedom, they wanted more choice. And it wasn't that they wanted to disrespect their families. They just right. wanted a say in the matter. Absolutely. Now, I noticed on the cover there's a black dog. What is the significance of that? The black dog in the title has a few different meanings. First of all, the superhero of the book is a black dog okay. who happens to be or happened to be. I've based him on a dog that I had many 20 odd years ago. Mm. who was like a child to me and a brother to my kids. And um, I never had another dog because when he died, I couldn't. He was, there's, I still no measuring up, right? Yeah, yeah. He was a dog and three quarters. And he was always going to be a hero in a book someday. And he, I never intended to write him in. He appeared in the same way that the main character in, in the book appeared. They, they just appeared and said, we're in the story, sorry. They took it over effectively. Wow. And so the black dog on the jacket is my dog, Boot. And he's standing on the Malvern Hills, that is Ragged Stone Hill. But the black dog also refers to depression. I don't know if you use the term black dog that follows you around. Okay. Um, Winston Churchill, there was a wonderful book um, about the black dog that was it called Mr. 
Mr. Something, mm. um, the black dog that follows Churchill around. And then the black dog also in folklore is a really important character, certainly in our ancient folklore. And this book is very much about opposites, about black and white mm. and good and bad and happy and sad, who judges. But the that black dog so in folklore, um, he follows travelers and mm. if you are a good person and you're traveling through the forest at night he will protect you mm. but if you're a bad person he'll attack and kill you so some people fear the black dog and some people revere the black dog wow carly i know things are kind of winding down here but what is the lasting message that you would like people to take away from your book black dog sunday if you read the book first of all I would hope that you wouldn't judge. I feel that it's important to walk a mile in someone else's moccasins. I've tried to show all sides, but I would say if you do know anybody who's vulnerable, who's being forced to do something that you can tell they really don't want to do, I would say rather than trying to interfere, go to the authorities really? if you're really concerned. But I would love you to read my book and let me know what you think. Absolutely. How can we get a hold of you and and your book to purchase it. Uh, my book's available on Amazon um, through the US website. I've discovered that for some strange reason, the reviews, so far I've got all five star reviews, but not that many people have reviewed it, but they don't translate to that. America. <laughs> right. I would love to have some US yes. reviews, but I would really like them to be honest because yes. writers need brutal criticism in order to grow and write better. Mm. Carly, you're just great to talk to. I I'm looking it's forward to it. has been to great talking to you too. Getting this into the hands of people because um, it's entertaining, but wow, does it have a great message behind it. I hope so. And I hope it's a good read too. Thank you, Carly. Have a great day. Thank you very much, Suzanne. Thank you too. You.